Uhu. Huh? Ah! Hey everyone, this is Jim, and welcome to episode 89 of Man Your Factor Minecraft, the Minecraft mod pack. Inspired by Factorio. I hope you're well. I hope you had a good, a good week. Good week. Yes. <laughs> Is your week been good? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Today, oh, we've got things to do. Things to do. New factories to build. Click. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone, for the suggestions about the logistics pipes system. We saw the little issue we were having last episode. Uh, I had a few more suggestions about what we can do to test things out there. Maybe, uh, maybe there's some other workarounds we can use. Uh, is that all our stuff? I think that's all our stuff. Uh, yes, however, we, we'll have to uh, put our storage system uh, overhaul on hold for a bit. Uh, we have the sulphur. The sulphur issue, we just do not get enough sulphur dust coming in. Uh, we don't have enough oil coming in to then turn into the sulphur dust uh, via a few steps. Uh, our blue and our purple science have stalled because we're not getting any green circuits going to it because we don't have enough sulfur dust. Yeah, so first thing, so yes, uh, we're going to build a new factory for sulfur dust. There's a couple of ways we can get it, but first up, we are making a lot of red circuits. Now, we probably don't need to be making this many. They're, they're currently stored in a shipping container in our big storage area, so I think what we'll do is take them out of here and move them to an alternative storage spot. Uh, we don't need that many. We need we, we want to, we want to have a buffer, but we don't need a shipping container worth. So right now, for example, we've got like nearly 1,500. Um, so we just don't want to be able to buffer that many. We we don't need that many. So we're going to move the storage to here. I think uh, we might do maybe a filler here like this, and then if we store up a row here. A row of circuits, advanced circuits. So we'll, I'm just going to have to move them from wherever they are. Oh, over there, I think is that shipping container, and get them to go into there. Click, 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 click. Did that empty it? Not quite. <laughs> I'll remove the filter there. We don't want it coming in here anymore. I will just put a filter, a filter dirt, just in case. Uh, but we don't want these in there. No, no, you're not allowed in here anymore, Mr. Mr. Circuits, and we'll get rid of... Oh, I probably need an axe, but it'll break eventually. There we go. And click, filter, click, whitelist circuit. Very good. They should now come into here when we get rid of the other filter from whoop, here. I think this guy. Yes, look at that. Uh, we'll just put filler there for the moment. If you've got any in here, you do. We take you out of there. Uh, has it got... Oh, I don't think we put a filter on the output under there that... I'm not sure how I'm going to reach and check. I don't think we ever did put filters on the output, so I don't think we needed to, so I think that's okay. And we'll remove this guy from that label. He's now free for other things. And we'll put a provider pipe on you. We'll make sure to include uh, the circuits so it doesn't take out the filler. <laughs> and then we'll put a little one into you there, like so. We've got our blue circuits already coming up here. Uh, as you can see, we don't have a backlog because all our green circuits are going to making into the blue circuits at the moment, which is why we're not getting any to our science factory. Uh, we want this one. Yes, okay. So if we take uh, maybe a row of those, fill you up into here, like so. Okay, so now this buffer is now full. If they're ever needed, they'll come out here. Uh, well, the rest we'll put in our manual storage, our manual uh, our crafting factory. <laughs> That's the one I'm trying to say which is not hooked up to this system yet. Uh, okay, we've done that. And then, if we go over to our circuit factory, way, way, way over here, because that chest is full, they should now be building up in here. So that one's not disappearing, okay. When they get crafted, they go into here, yep. 
but we don't want to have a full dropper's worth here so we might put put a drop a, a spot chest in here instead and there goes one into there okay so we now have only just have one stack buffer so that means that that should fill up this should backlog so this is our blue circuit crafting we need a lot of green so all the greens are going into here and being used here uh, but what this will do will then backlog our red circuit production here so that the silicon going into here should then pro go into here more frequently rather than going into our reds so hopefully we'll get more greens <laughs> <laughs> I hope all that is to hopefully get more green circuits it still might not be enough uh, but that's the first thing we're gonna do next up is new factory so when it comes to crafting sulfur we do actually have a couple of options that we can do uh, the first one we're gonna start with though is this one we can turn blaze rods into four blaze powder and a 50% chance of getting sulfur. So basically if you think of it like two blaze rods to one sulfur. Now you must be thinking I'm mad, blaze rods? We're not going to the nether are we? <laughs> no we're not. Instead we can actually craft the blaze rods with the Hellforge with steel rods. Ah, Hellforge, steel, aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh. steel rods. We can just use a lathe or a metal press to get the steel rods from the steel. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> steel is very low. We've got 1,875. It's been slowly, slowly going down because uh, we didn't set up our steel factory, but I have now. Yeah, so over there, way over there, is it going to be our steel factory? And there's a little spot behind it where our new sulfur dust factory is going to be. Well, sulfur dust factory number one, or number uh, number two, <laughs> number two that comes from the steel rods. So, in between episodes, I have set up our steel production. <gasps> I hope. Uh, okay, we have iron ore that will come out here into Zakrasha and get crushed into. Uh, hello, how are you? Not having a nice day? Not anymore. Oh, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, which will get iron dust and the pulverized nickel. So we want to ha 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 have the pulverized nickel go into this shipping container. It's nearly set up. Uh, there's one or, more, one or two more things I needed to do. <laughs> like this, whitelist the pulverized nickel. Uh, we will have a... Uh, I don't think we need a reinforced... We'll, a, uh, a signalum, we'll just go with this one. I won't turn it on just yet. And then the iron dust will come out and go up into this arc furnace, which is not yet formed. So let us form the arc furnace, which will go... Is it the cauldron? Oh, yes. First guess. I love it. <laughs> so the iron dust will come into here, and then the iron ingots will go into here to become steel. Right. Then we're going to have to do something with it, uh, including building our new factory over here. Uh, okay, let's get this hooked up first though. Okay, last wire. Ugh, there we go. So you are now powered two. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, yeah, graphite electrodes. We only have four. Uh, do we need three in each one or can we use less? Does it just mean it'll go slower? We're about to find out. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, let's get this going. If I can get back onto the platform. There we go. Okay, you good. Let us turn you on. There we are. In you go. Or out you go. Into here. You should be coming into up into here. Here we go. <laughs> good. In you go to Mr. Krasha. Good. We're getting this. Come out of here. Very good. Oh, now we need you to come out of... Ooh, before we do that, before we do that, there's one thing I forgot, which is to turn off the jumpy jumpy again, so that we can come up here and put as a filter on here to just get, whoop, there we are, the iron dust there, whitelist you. Okay, just to make sure that the nickel doesn't go in there. So you can now be disabled, you go out of there, you should now gradually make your way over into here to be smelted up into the ingots which it won't start because we haven't got the electrodes yet uh, so we've got four yeah our graphite factory has stalled 
but in a good way that might end up helping us, which is uh, which is good. So we put you three in. Okay, we get five iron. Good. Then you should be going out into this guy. I <laughs> lag spike. Uh, hopefully, in you come. Iron ingots. Here it is. Hmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot to turn it on. There we go. Now, iron ingots coming in here. Are you leaving? You left. Go go. Okay, good. Are you coming into here? Hmm. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Yes. Good. I put one in. Is that enough? <sighs> it's not apparently. Uh, that's a bummer. Let me just check. <laughs> we can actually make steel in the arc furnace, can't we? Yes. Uh, arc furnace. Five. Six. Oh, we need coal. We need coal. Oh, I didn't allow for the coal. Oh. So we have a, a inter item duct here that comes from our steel, steel, <laughs> our steel iron ore from here that goes all the way over to our iron ore that we need for the steel. I'm going to put you there, and then I'm going to put a storage crate. Okay, oh, no, not that one. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is get it to magically change into a copper chest. <laughs> uh, we're going to get logistics pipes to supply coal here, and then we'll use the, uh, the item duct there to get the coal way over there. All right, I'm, I'm hoping that will work. So we should probably hook up the item ducts first and just check that the coal will actually go from there all the way over to there. So if we whitelist the coal into here, so this cable or item duct should now run, oh, he's chock-a-block, <laughs> should now run all the way over to that chest we'll just put a like a stack of coal in and hope that it ends up over in oh it's not going to go in because it's full of iron ah right okay we'll put you in we'll uh, disable you so hopefully it'll go somewhere but we left it full of iron ingots which means uh, uh, <laughs> We should probably limit the amount of iron and the amount of coal, for that matter, that goes into the arc furnace, which means re-jigging these, the filters here, so that if we take for you example, for you for example, we set 64 as the max. Okay. Uh, oh, and we whitelist that. Yeah, and we'll do the same with the coal. Oh, actually we don't need to because it goes into a different spot. Great. Okay, now it, he's not actually doing anything though. Do we need three of the electrodes? Ah, that's a that's a prob. That is a prob. So this that we set up some time ago now is making the uh, the these guys the HOP graphite ingots, and we've got them being automatically crafted into the electrodes. However. Uh, this factory has stalled because <laughs> it's backed up with, over here, the <gasps> polluted water. Yes, so this guy is full. Now, polluted water, we can in fact turn into sulphur dust. Yes, but it's a bit more of a, it's another factory that we will probably have to build soon enough. Uh, just not right now. So I think I'll just add us a second tank for this, just so that we can get this guy running again and producing more electrodes. And click, and up, and up, and join, and in you go. So hopefully now, the uh, polluted water, oh yes, I'm seeing a little bit of yellow appear already. So this should, <laughs> and this should get this factory going again. Right, okay, so you up here are now running again because you were the thing <laughs> that was full of the stuff. Right, okay, good. Now we're just going to leave that while we head off and now build our uh, blaze rod to sulfur dust factory. 
So what we'll do, we'll get the steel coming out there and we'll split it. We'll send half back over to our storage and we'll send the other half over to this factory to be turned into the sulfur dust. So if we run a, a, a item duct into say a chest here with an extractor belt going into an alternator that will then have another belt going out that way and a belt going out this way into another chest that steel will then go off to our uh, storage this steel will then be turned into the iron rods yes so the machines we're going to need we'll use the lathe version to get the steel ingot into the steel rod then we're going to need to build a hell forge to then get them into the blaze rods and then we can put them into a crusher to then get the blaze powder and the sulfur dust now we'll just store the blaze powder I don't think there's anything really useful we can use it for <laughs> at this stage um, yeah oh, oh, that stuff okay uh, yes no we'll just store it for now so let's see we're gonna have to do a bit of factory design we haven't done this in ages this will be great putting in like the uh, how big? <laughs> How big is the uh, is the lathe? Is it four or five? Oh yes, something like that. Then those going into a crusher, which will be something like uh, well, three by five, isn't it? Something like whatever that is, like that. And then into the uh, hell forge, which will be something like this. So something like that. There's our factory <laughs> done. Uh, except we're going to have to leave room for the solar panels to power it all. I got so excited about <laughs> building a new factory that I forgot to hook up the uh, the logistics pipes to the coal chest here. Uh, where's the supply pipe? <laughs> got it. Okay. Put you there, and then we will put uh, one, two, three, four stacks of coal into there okay uh, hopefully the coal will arrive oh I see it I see it here it comes oh 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 okay it's glitching with the ducks <laughs> okay none of it actually reached here okay oh okay Okay, yeah, I just rerouted the uh, the item ducts so they don't get close to the logistics pipes there, and we're all good. And so I put in all the coal as well that uh, that fell on the ground. So we've got more than we needed, uh, but that is all good. So I think that's uh, that's good to go. <laughs> uh, back to our factory. Ooh, fancy, fancy. <laughs> So uh, yes, we've gone the uh, the belts and the extractors and the alternators to do the old uh, splitting of the steel coming out of there. So it'll come in here, and we've got two extractors. So they're the opposite at the moment. Red, this one's turned off because we can't visually see that it's turned off, uh, and this one is green, so he's turned on. So they'll come out here into the alternator. Half will go that way and then half will go this way into this chest so this will then just go off to our storage but this half will go into this chest and we'll use this half of the steel for our factory here uh, but it does have a comparator in it so that if it gets a bit full it will then switch over the extractors so we've just got a, a couple of uh, connections and not gates and things here so that yeah so that it'll then turn off that extractor and turn on this one and so then all the steel will go off to our storage uh, okay now I've got this set low hopefully we can put enough dirt in it to check let's see uh, dirt 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 so you're extracting ooh because uh, you're on ooh right oh because you have got a little bit and so you turned off ah what if we put you up a bit to there power two it switched back okay good 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 so you're coming out of there that's good but not coming out of this one so you're getting all split up there nice nice 
Uh, how much dirt do we need to turn this off? It could be quite a bit. <laughs> but essentially this will do our splitting for us. Bit of a bit of old school there, isn't it? We haven't done these sort of arrangements for a long time. Uh, in terms of the factory itself though, I think we're, we're good in terms of the layout. A little bit of room for expansion, but um, I think right now we've just got to build it. See how it goes. Oh, I thought I'd just use the opportunity to check on our electrodes, which is good. So we have got enough. This factory is uh, seems to be going again. Uh, hasn't filled up <laughs> the tank yet, but good. We can get the uh, the steel at least happening now. Okay, in you go, and you're starting. You are. Look at that, firing up there. Nice. Oh, we get slag. I forgot about the slag too. <laughs> I keep forgetting all the things with the steel production. Uh, okay, well oh, we better do something about that because that's going to back up very, very quickly. Right, okay, slag is now going into there and if we enable this, hopefully it's going out and hopefully it's going off to, uh, to be stored. <laughs> I hope. Uh, okay, this guy here, this is where our steel is building up. Uh, let's do that and then hopefully he'll come up here and start getting sorted here. Soon. Hopefully. Here it goes. Okay, good. So you're coming out that side. Very good. And then the ones coming around the back there are going into there. Yep, okay, good. So we'll turn you on and hopefully now you'll be making your way... Well, you know what? Let's... Uh, can I upgrade? No. Can I just do switch? Switch? Do that. Okay, we'll put the faster, the faster servo on there. Okay, you're off, you're off. Good. And we're getting stuff built up in here. Oh, actually we should... Uh, we should probably set that maybe about there. So it can store more iron, uh, more steel, <laughs> in here. The factory, oh yes. Uh, okay, let's get to work on the, flak, on the <laughs> blah, blah, factory place thing. Uh, lucky we had a lathe already built into a blueprint with some solar panels, which is excellent. We also already have the Krasha. Good to go. Have I got the right one? <laughs> I have. Uh, I think you go... There. Yes. Excellent. Uh, unfortunately, with the old Hellforge, we do not have a blueprint <laughs> at all, so we're going to have to manually build it. Oh, terrible. But at least we can do the uh, the solar panels. Okay, you... Do we need to... I think we do, don't we? need to light the portal. And you have formed. Excellent. Excellent. Good, good, good. Now, solar panels. Uh, it's a good point, though. Um... How much power? It was pretty high, wasn't it? The uh, the cost in the power. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. Use you, create you in here. A thousand, oh, a thousand per tick. So it's it. This is really fast. Ten ticks, half a second. So I don't think this is going to be running all the time. It's going to probably do one and then turn off for a bit because this won't keep up with it. We could always put more of these in, but it depends on how quickly we're going to get the steel anyway. And given... Given we've got none coming in at the moment... Are you still running? Um, oh, you're probably out of power. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so it doesn't... It's not going to be running non-stop. So I'm just trying to decide how many solar panels to give it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just getting the ducts in place, and I think we're nearly, nearly good to turn it on. All right, let's see. What have we got? We've got our... Uh, I keep calling it iron. Our <laughs> steel building up here. Right, let us form uh, this guy. Click. Ready, good. Turn you on. Yes. Uh, okay. We turn you on. Uh, enable, disabled. Disabling is enabling. So hopefully you will start delivering the steel into here. And you will start making the iron rods going into here. Excellent. So this should be hooked up over to our hell forge. So let us enable you. Hopefully we get this guy coming here. 
Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> I just put the uh, reinforced servos. They don't need to be super fast to come into here, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, and it went down. Excellent. So you are indeed running. Very good on the output. We're getting our blaze rods. Excellent. All right, let us uh, disable that guy. So you should be coming up. Oh, uh, to here that is not ready. Bing. Now it is. <laughs> it's ready now. Okay. Oh, blaze rods are streaming in. I'm not hearing crushing. Why aren't I hearing crushing? Mr. Crusher, you have no power, Mr. Crusher. Why do you not have no power? You're hooked up. Should I have not hooked you up? Solar panels, solar panels, those are full. Uh, connector, connector, we might reconnect Mr. Crusher because maybe it was to do with forming it. Um, I hope. <laughs> Click and get rid of you and uh, redo you. There we go. Okay. Phew. <laughs> and we are getting sulfur. Tons of blaze powder, but we're getting sulfur. Not a lot of sulfur, <laughs> admittedly. There we go. Three, four. So we should get. Wow. What was it? Fifty percent chance. You get four with a fifty percent. So, so we should get eight. Eight of these to. Um, a stack of these to eight of these, roughly. If, if the odds are, you know, balance out. Okay, we are going to get an awful lot of blaze powder, aren't we? Uh, right. Right, okay, we need to send this way over to our storage factory. It is hooked in, uh, but we're not currently filtering the blaze powder. Uh, look, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's grab you. Because we're going to get an awful lot of it, <laughs> then we should probably put it in our shipping containers. We might as well put it in the um, the one we, uh, we we took the advanced circuits out of earlier. We might as well put uh, the blaze powder into that one, seeing it's there, it's free. Uh, we have one other free shipping container. So let's see, if we want to put you here, let's just remove you and in you into there so blaze powder after the green circuits oh, I missed so this is the tricky bit is making sure we get the, <laughs> the right one there I think it's the that guy down here right yes so you yes good you are now blaze powder an alien swarm has been detected cool <laughs> uh, okay so you're there good then we need to go whoop, over to here, the double bounce, into here, and do you into there, like so. And then I don't think we have these configured just for whatever is in there. Okay, so then hopefully that's all set up. Uh, we've just got to turn on the, uh, the output back at the factory, the blazing factory, and we'll see how it goes. Oh! 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 Go! Uh, wha oh! He took a few shots, didn't he? <laughs> Go away, Mr. Alien. I'm gonna stack it a bit. Look at all that blaze powder. Can we do anything with it? It doesn't really look like it. Uh, okay. <laughs> you go, and then we're just gonna have to wait a while to see if it actually goes anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're not going. Did I forget to hook up a, a pipe or something? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> uh, oh, Mr. Oh, 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 because oh, oh, I'm not going to, and it's going to fall down into all the bugs. Okay, let, let's just, you to you, 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 you. Okay, hopefully now that it should all, all, all be leaving. <laughs> Are you leaving? You're leaving. Excellent. Excellent. Is our sulfur getting sorted? I think our sulfur's being sorted. Is it? I hope it is. <laughs> uh, you're not leaving. Why aren't you leaving? You stopped leaving. Hmm. Ah. Okay. So I put in on the output here, I put a little buffer crate here. Uh, and it is... Oh, you're back stuffed. Oh. Ah, he's back stuffed. Why is he back stuff? Now this is the hard part. I've now got to go through, follow all of these pipes, 
and find out <laughs> what's got back stuffed because it should all be going into there. Um, hmm. Okay, so our uh, our item ducks they're all filtered. Every exit from the uh, from the item ducks here is filtered on something. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so it does mean if something gets into the system that it doesn't know what to do with, it will back stuff something. Uh, so it could be that. So for the moment, oh, don't have to jumpy jumpy. <laughs> We'll put a chest here and we'll build some of the dense, 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 uh, the dense item ducks here, like so. Now there are, the recipe's been added for the normal item ducks, but not the impulse ones. So we'll use the normal ones, and the dense means it should make it a, a longer, longer connection. So if we do one, two, three, and then just see what ends up coming into here, because uh, it seems something doesn't have a have a filter somewhere. Ooh, we're getting uh, we're getting those in here. We don't want those to be coming in here. This is the the problem if we have it as a default uh, here that things that shouldn't be here are coming in here. Oh, the sulfur. Ah, we're not actually sorting the sulfur. There you go. Okay. Here uh, for now then. Boop. <laughs> We're going to take it out. So the sulfur's going to back stuff again. It'll just bounce around and go back. Uh, the invasion has ended. That's good to hear. <laughs> Didn't bother us. They're all down there. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so what are we doing with our sulfur over here? Are we directly uh, turning it into the sulfuric acid? I think we are, aren't we? The, uh, the other sulfur. Jumpy, jumpy. Mm, yeah, it goes into there. Yeah, into ah, uh, goes okay. Yeah, because we're going to bring it into here. Right. Boy, oh boy, the pipe spaghetti <laughs> is getting real. Lots of spaghetti. Oh, get I get ah oh, ah. Oh, jumpy, jumpy. Oh, hello, super slow bug. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Uh, where was I trying to get it on to? This guy right there. Okay. So hopefully, the sulfur dust will now come into here. You're full of pulverized iron. Where did the iron come from? Oh, because I didn't put the thing on there like that before I joined it in. No. <laughs> yes. Pipe spaghetti. Uh, and ignore this. <laughs> Uh, jumping over the pipes. Okay, so hopefully now the sulfur will come into here. The iron dust came in from here. Uh, this is connected to our mixer and our sulfur storage up there in the shipping container. Okay, you are coming in. Alright, good. Good. So let's then uh, do that. So you can go out again and get used. Excellent. Whoop. So is anything else now back stuffed? Ooh, spaghetti. Pipe spaghetti. <laughs> and catwalk spaghetti. You are now. Oh boy, you are. You've got the signalum one, so hopefully, yeah, it just might take a while to catch up. We'll have to see if it backs up or if it's just because this is backed up that it gets back. If it gets backed up again, uh, this hopefully is being filtered. We better go check though, hadn't we? Oh, you say you're full. Oh, the wall works. <laughs> Uh, which means that the crate over here is full. Whoops! Oh. Oop. Can I jump backwards? Oop, and then do it. Ah! Yes, you are full. Right, why are you full, Mr. Thingamajiggy? Can I... Mm, in fact, let us uh, do the old... Uh, there, and there. Like that. Hey, okay. And you are backstuffed because why? This one's now backstuffed. Um, probably because of the circuits. So if I do quickly do this, Ooh. no, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, I can do this, can't I? Uh, this. Yeah, it had circuits. It's still in it. Okay, now, right. Are you leaving? <gasps> you are. Excellent. And I took the sign off, so we'll put the sign on again. And you have now... Oh, I put the sign on the wrong level. <laughs> you
You do have blaze powder, and it's going up and up and up. Excellent, 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 excellent. Cool. Blazing factory, fully operational. Excellent, excellent. You are not leaving anything at the moment. I assume we have no steel coming in for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is night. Yes. Uh, bing. So we've probably run out of power on our arc furnaces. We aren't supplying them with enough solar panels, I think. But that's okay. We have a little bit more sulfur coming in. A little bit. Hopefully it makes a difference. But at least we've got to build a new factory, which is very cool. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.